Hello, everyone. So, um, uh, yet more apologies for breaking into your table discussions. Uh, I was on a cracking table discussion, and we were, yeah, no, there's nothing worse than that little spinning clock telling you you've got 30 seconds. Uh, it's always quite difficult to wrap up the conversation, so apologies uh, to, to jump in and do that. Anyway, now we're going to invite uh, some of you up on stage to tell us about what you've been, what's been happening on your tables this morning. So this is a, a great chance to hear from uh, new people, and we're going to do that using the the uh, the waiver feature on the bottom. If I can encourage those of you who'd like to come up and share some thoughts or some of the things that have been happening on your tables, that would be excellent. So uh, if you can wave at me, I will uh, bring you up, or I may vol even volunteer one or two of you. If, uh, if you'll forgive me for doing that, but some of us have uh, had some great conversations. So um, I can't see any hands waving, which may be a technical issue at uh, my side, but let's start with, um, let's have Steve Baker up. And I can see some hands raised now. So Steve, come and join me. Thank you. Um, yeah, lots of good discussion and debate. I, I largely work in the private sector, so it's always really interesting to see the perspective from the public sector. I think a couple of the things that really struck me was there was lots of talk about how paradigms have been broken, whether that's which jobs can be done from home or how quickly can we share data, innovate. Um, you know, I think there have been a lot of paradigms and habits that may have been broken during the last three months. Where we were starting to get to in our second table discussion just before we got cut off was I wonder which of those will be allowed to creep back in. Um, so we were talking about, particularly with agile workers, there's been a movement to let them all work from home and then no co-locate them. And now COVID's pushed them all back out again. So it will be really interesting to see how organizations respond to the needs and desires of people to work either from home or from an office, what that will mean for office space. So how we might have to innovate around cities. I know that smart cities will be the discussion topic on Friday. So it'll be interesting to see what, what happens there. But yeah, from, from a personal point of view, I think those paradigms, those habits, those ways of thinking that we have um, been, have been challenged during COVID, it would be really interesting to see which ones uh, are broken forever and which ones start to creep back in the different organizations we work for. Brilliant. Thanks, Steve. Great feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so next up on stage, I think I saw Colin Cram waving a hand earlier. Should we have Colin up if uh, that's OK, Colin? Um, anyone else? I don't know whether Colin is trying to join us or is unable to join us. Do you wave? Hi, Hi um, Colin. Welcome. Yep. Can you see me at all? I can or hear me? I can, we can hear you. We can see the bottom half of your face. Right. Uh, okay. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> brilliant. There you go. The floor is yours, sir. Right. All, all I was going to say was I had a discussion with um, Steve Billings uh, and also Chris Holmes, and they were extremely useful. I was, I have to be honest, I was pretty dubious about this event. I thought, well, I don't know what benefit I'll get from it. Uh, let's try it out. Uh, and I have to say, I would strongly recommend it to anyone. Right. Well, that's uh, great. Because of, because of the value, those discussions alone make it well worth it. Excellent. Well, it's definitely a platform that kind of offers those moments of serendipity where you join a table and you just meet people you otherwise wouldn't yeah. wouldn't know or meet and just hear ideas. So it's great to, great to find out you've uh, found that. And also um, uh, that you've bumped into two really useful people, including uh, Chris Holmes. So... Well, I hope I can be useful to them. <laughs> Good. As well. well, I hope those conversations continue after today, and that's what that's what this is all about, yeah. definitely. So, thank thank yeah, you very they, much, they Colin, yeah. for joining us on stage, and uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed the day. And I hope we'll see you at one of the other days this week. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Right. Who else? Anyone else? Before we bring things to a formal close, anyone else want to join us? on stage and if the answer is no then i will bring things to a close so we are nearly out of time um we do are oh, okay i will take a late a late request let's have stephen fraser up stephen come and join me
I can see Stephen is on the way. Stephen, welcome. I, I saw you earlier on a table, so very good to see you again. Uh, do please share your thoughts. It was more of a question, really, for the group. Ah. Um, so I'm trying to work out if, from the outside, it looks like those countries that don't have a GDPR position, like your South Korea's or your China's, appear to have dealt with this situation in a more effective way if your metric is saving lives. So I'm just wondering if anyone's got any, if a, is that a, a, people know more about this than I do, is that a correct read across? And if it is, what does it mean given that GDPR will be reviewed at some point in the next four or five years? Right. Okay, no, great question to the room. So after I've done my closing remarks, Stephen, we will leave the room open for a little longer. So do go and jump on a table. And uh, if anyone would like to join Stephen and, and uh, feed back to him on that question, uh, please do. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, a good question, Stephen. I've got my own thoughts on it, so I may come and, come and join you on the table uh, for a few moments just to, just to feed back my thoughts on that. I'm sure other people will as well. So thank you very much indeed, Stephen. Great to have you up on stage and thank you for taking part in today. Um, I'm going to move to close. Uh, so we're out of time. Thank you to all our speakers. Uh, also, thank you to our sponsors for today, Nominet, Agil Agilisys and Treehouse Innovation. Uh, this space we've been in today is the famous Digi Lounge. And I know my events team will shoot me if I do not mention that you can hire this space and our team to run your own event if you enjoyed today. Uh, the lounge will now open for a, a little longer for those of you uh, who would like to stay and continue your conversation. Um, and we will start again with day two of the conference uh, at 11 o'clock tomorrow when we'll be talking about public sector transformation. So I do hope uh, you can join us. You can go on to Digital Leaders Virtual and book for tomorrow if you're not currently booked in to come. Uh, if you're returning tomorrow, you'll uh, be very clued up on how this all works and how to get the best out of the session. Uh, but it just remains for me to thank uh, all of you for coming uh, and my fabulous team for organizing today. And I will disappear from the stage and enjoy uh, some final networking. So thank you. <laughs>